Prophet Joseph Tumsime. Uh, let me tell you this um, Ugandans and Prophet Joseph Tumsime. Sometimes I look upon people saying uh, a servant of God should not be, uh, maybe should not involve himself in politics. But politicians always come to our churches. They say, you tell your people to vote for me like that. Or uh, people who are in, the, in our churches, most of them are the people who vote for you. Yes. And you wonder because they say a, uh, a prophet or a servant of God should not so decide. And you are giving us restrictions. Don't talk about this. Don't say this. Don't say this. I want to say this today. You look upon this uh, man, Bob Wine. She was anointed by God. She was brought by God. No matter how much you fight him, no matter the kind of words you speak against him, he cannot fall down. You may fight him not to become the president. You may do whatever it takes for him not to become the president. But many people who are right now being promoted, many people who are right now being uh, uh, selected by the president uh, to be either ministers, to be what, is due to the influence of Bob Wine. Many people are, are receiving large sums of money because of Bob Wine. Many who were not even uh, known, right now they are put on cabinets here and there because of Bob Wine. Everyone has his own time. Everyone has his own blessing. Once God anoints you, he will put on you the anointing, the blessing, the favor of people. Yes? Whoever talks about you here, people will not look upon it. They will attack you. Because you have talked here about the person who was anointed. This is why the Bible tells us that don't touch on the anointed of God. Psalms 105, when you read verse, uh, for, you can start from verse 15, you read it. Don't touch on the anointed of God. Once God has anointed someone, no matter which category of all the group of people uh, he have been living in, look upon David, who was anointed when uh, Prophet Samuel reached in, uh, in Bethlehem to anoint the king to replace King Saul. Everyone looked upon uh, the giants who were in Bethlehem. But God said, no, I've not selected any of them. The Bible tells us uh, in uh, 1 Samuel 16 that even Samuel reached the level of asking Jesse, are uh, only these sons you have? He said, no, there is, there is another one who is tending the sheep. He's in the, he's in the, in the desert. Someone said, call him. We shall not begin until he's here. You cannot even fight against whom God has anointed. No matter how influential you may be, no matter how powerful you may be, the more you fight against the anointed, the more you promote him, the more people love him and hate you, because he's anointed by God. Every prophet, every pastor in Africa, most of them, they sit with politicians. 
they eat with politicians. They will become politicians in their, in their churches. You are not a politician, but you are a servant of God. But you sit with them. You side, you have the ones you side with. That maybe I'm of this group, maybe I'm of this group. No matter how much you are a servant of God. It does not mean that you should not come out to sow your side. Everyone, they have whom they love. Because we, we also, sons of God, we vote. We vote for you people. Let me tell you the secret. No matter how this Bob Wine, uh, you may fight him here and there, God will, may bring another one who may be even more powerful than Bob Wine. And after that one, there will come another person. Like how President M7 came and joined the bush, and very many people, you, uh, the, very many people supported him. When he reached in Ruel, that even people used to hide him under their beds, in their barns, because they were loving him. They were seeing him as their savior, as how people are seeing Bob Wine as their savior. When you become happy because Bob Wine has been hurt, and you come on social media, you celebrate, you are showing the level of your intelligence. You should not be happy because someone has been hurt or your enemy has been hurt. Do you feel okay when you see a, a live snake being burnt? Can't you feel something in you that at least this is also part of the creation? God bless. Bobanga no ekene nyaburunji chigambo kuchigambo. Na yogira bino, prophet, oba tumuite, omutume wakatonda. Elana imu na Uganda anga balala. Na yeba asumba manji nyo. Baziba imiria kubututibu wawe, gaba kwa zeseri nyari ya rupati chakura nji senta munti oyo. Temu mkobelela, kubanga, mulabe wakwanga Uganda. Mwami Museveni, ye muntumu kama katonda kwa ya sindi kukununule kwangiri ya Uganda. Era ya linu nula. Na emu era bide chintu chimu. Ntibuli mulembe guba o. Atene guba o. Tui nzo kukirizi gaya naba. Batu gamba. Anti mwami museve ni yali mununuzi wa guanga Uganda. Yebali ya jana linu nula. Na emu kama katonda. Atu kana alondo umutu umulala. Kuwanga tasura kukute kaulu velela. Tikuwe mulonji omu. Mwami museve ni yali mulonji. Na ako lebilonji biyakuli le guanga ili ya Uganda. Wabulo lwalero prophet ya kugama antika kati mukama katonda inzo kuwa ya mjieke tisache na chamba za Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu oba Bobby Waini. O inzo kuwa nyisoyo mukama katonda kuwa lonze na isi kakasantyo inzo kuwa angula mukama katonda. Mukama katonda ine nsonga ze luwache haba lonzo omuntu we tikakati ono kuenta deka mafuta anunule guanga. Museve ni yajja ngabamu tebama ina uwaji hafa Kubanga msajwa watu kwa yajja, ya tandika gamanti mnyankole, na ya bantu bwa mnyankole bebaso kwa mubo olane wa mkoba ganya, na ya bagamanti oyu siwa mufi. Na jambo ganda, te ya janga yogira luganda kubechi tufu ya ita na luiga. Chanaku, te ya taba bantu babo ganda boba mwaniliza, na ya mwa gala nyo. Boya sala woku yingi lensiko, haba ganda be njini njini, beba mwega tako kusoke la dala. Gasimu ganda munawe na yoro mkwa nukubamu inako. Uruwezi sacha katonde chamu jirako. Aba ganda baga amba simu ganda. Na itu jamu protectinga mbeda yona. Bwibagi zangako kumunonya. 
abali ba mwana gana na ye. Aba ganda benjini ba mkweka nga wansuwe bitanda biyawe. Aba la neba firu wabula mbu wabwe. Tujikila lutamaguzi ya mkweka kuchibanyi. Neba sala sala lutamaguzi na afa. Uroku ba kwe semu wawimu seven. Na henge na mkama katonda agama. Ntikale chona chichiri. Oyo ye mulonde gwe nonze. Yena wuna wana ave ranga. Tatu usi kwenga koka vi. Mwaimu seven ya hita mulutalo lwa miyake etano nga lwa masase. Na hea kakana ye muwanguze. Uruwa lero, Bobby Waini, taina mundu onti alwana gana na mwami Museveni. Wabu lorokuwa uruwa chidi ya chimu sindi ikiriza, ndi mukama katonda, amutade kwa mukisa we. Mwami Museveni mamu jeke tisachi ya katonda. Balu onzi omulonde, omulala iroba tichagula nyisentamu. Taina mundu, na yengu gami enti urutalo uruwa hita mundu wa masasi, kubanga baine mundu wa mulu kumuta. Na hebo bala wabalu wana na roba tichagula nyi senta mwa atule magere. Wabula munda muli, muli muka atonda kubalu wana gana na ye. Kubanga muka maka atonda agama ntinzo no gwende se. Oba muagala, oba te muagala. Katichon na chachiri, mwombela yonayo na jana hitamu. Agenda kukakana, atuse kwecho muka maka atonda shemu tegekira. Era ya ine nsonga ze, luwachi mubanji, ya londa yugu baito muyaye, luwachi mubanji. Yalonda yugu baito muyaga. Luwachi mubanji. Yabuka bebi tibwa. Na kiti la mugeto jialonda roba tichagula nyi senta muna muanda ke dusu. Na muga manti kwe kwe noze. Kwa gendo kunu nolida bantu bangawa Uganda. Katu kwa wada chatu wali wapoko poko webi gambo. Kwa wada chabu kukano muyaga ngo uli ya wakuga manti ya oyu taina manti taina fuga guanga Uganda. Mwami musefe ni achali wa manti nyote wala sura musi gukulula. Wako wafumi itirizeko. Webu za inti mwami msefe ni weyajiro kukua teguangi ya Uganda. Tewali uwa bali ya bamanya bali bogeru wako nga balo uoza inti beba singa mchintu chino. Tewali uwa mundu. Nga mwami msefe ni taina mundu. Ne wabanga yemu kama katunda ya muisizo mkisa kwe mundu. Ya sarati ya kagu wako nafune mundu. Alwa na ganena haba ine mundu. Loba tichagula nisenda mkukami taina mundu. Ne mwami kama katunda ino mkisa kwa mtere dewo. Wageno kusoboli yoku wangulo mlaba ine mundu. Atuke kwecho, mukama katonda shi ya mteke kilo kubira. She was brought by God. No matter how much you fight him, no matter the kind of words you speak against him, he cannot fall down. You may fight him not to become the president, you may do whatever it takes for him not to become the president. But many people who are right now being promoted, many people who are right now being uh, uh, selected by the president uh, to be either ministers, to be what, is due to the influence of Bob Wine. Many people are, are receiving large sums of money because of Bob Wine. Many who were not even uh, known, right now they are put on cabinets here and there because of Bob Wine. Everyone has his own time. Everyone has his own blessing. Once God anoints you, he will put on you the anointing, the blessing, the favor of people. Yes? Whoever talks about you here, people will not look upon it. They will attack you. Because you have talked here about the person who was anointed. This is why the Bible tells us that don't touch on the anointed of God. Psalms 105, when you read verse, uh, you can start from verse 15, you read it. Don't touch on the anointed of God. Once God has anointed someone, no matter which category of or the group of people uh, he have been living in, look upon David, who was anointed when uh, Prophet Samuel reached in uh, in Bethlehem 
to anoint the king to replace King Saul. Everyone looked upon uh, the giants who were in Bethlehem. But God said, no, I have not selected any of them. The Bible tells us uh, in uh, 1 Samuel 16 that even Samuel reached the level of asking Jesse, are uh, only these sons you have? He said, no, there is, there is another one who is tending the sheep. He's in the, he's in the, in the desert. Someone said, call him. We shall not begin until he's here. You cannot even fight against whom God has anointed. No matter how influential you may be, no matter how powerful you may be, the more you fight against the anointed, the more you promote him, the more people love him and hate you, because he's anointed by God. 